day two, bitch. Day two. So what is the plan for today? We're popping by a bunch of different malls in the Florida area, specifically for Silvito malls. Then the Fa Orlando Fashion Square, which is basically abandoned. So we're just gonna check that out. Go to the Florida mall. Mall hopping. Mall hopping. You know what my thoughts are? Man's kind of looks like the cop from Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Is he recording me recording? Maybe. Like something I've noticed is a lot of the, there's like places in here, so there's a lot of studios. Like there's like, also like Patty Studios, we saw like, what was it, like Penguin's Productions or something like that. Like so many studios here. That's crazy. Have we explored the entirety of this mall? I think we have, honestly. Um, we've got some Echo, so we've got Daphne's candy. We love candy. Lots of candy. <laughs> so uh, now apparently we are going to an abandoned mall. Not like actually abandoned abandoned, it's just that like there's so many like spots for stores could be. There's only like 20 total stores in there. Like no one ever walks around in there. It's like just completely empty. Like the entrances to the mall for like the connected like big box stores like Dillard's, like stuff like that. Like the entrance to the mall for most stores is just boarded off. You can't get into the, you can only get into the mall through the main entrance and that's it. Mm. So it just feels abandoned. Not actually abandoned, but it feels abandoned. That's kind of cool actually. You know, I got a red hand in my hair. <laughs> yeah, red hand. But the more abandoned one. Yeah, this is the one where it's just like, I don't know why. This is already creeping me out a little. Yeah, oh, yeah. I still got a clip in my hair. This is kind of cool and creepy at the same time. Imagine being here at night. Yeah. Oh my god. I would have I would have a good time though. Of course we do. Don't even ask. Yes, the answer is yes. We do have to. Barely anything in there. I want to look in the door. like a regular house door. I want to look in the door. Look at how much stuff there was in here. This was a full like. When he lived in Orlando, like years ago, kind of thing. Like people either went to this mall or the Florida mall. But like, granted, that was like back in like the 80s, 90s, I think, something like that. Because like it was when he was in college living in Orlando. So it's just like, I don't know what happened here. So it used to be a really popping mall, but apparently not anymore. <laughs> yeah, like now everything is just like, I see why you call it the abandoned mall. <laughs> so we got this place here, Jungle's Movies. Still open. But then there's just this ad. Does it stay pretty? Yeah. That's so, the abandoned mall. Abandoned mall, just like. I thought the doors were even closed properly. <laughs> oh.
<laughs> we're gonna go get food because we're starving, haven't had anything to say. It's not my join us because they're at work and they're close by. So we shall see. First, we're just gonna get food, and then we'll explore. So. Yes. Yeah, so like self care stuff, there's like all like homemade. May I just Yeah. <laughs> But, but or if it's your color. That's a cool backpack. That is pretty dope. Lurking glass, yes. They have gold on the hood, so like, that's cool. Oh yeah. Perfect sunglasses for each of them. This is the sunfire. You you say perfect sunglasses for me. Let me show you something, alright? You wanna take my camera for a second? If I can hold it. <laughs> Had two bags. It looks like such a douche with those on, though, not gonna lie. I don't doubt it. Yeah, my head is just too big for any sort of like sunglasses, hats, any of that stuff. It just doesn't fit. And I remember for Christmas, this is a lunchbox. What the heck? Pretty good price. Not me about to buy this for work. It's like, it's the perfect size for me. Oh, Perfect fit. <laughs> Macaroni and cheese. Is that the flavor? <laughs> That's the flavor. We're both like trying to vlog. So I'm trying to get better at vlogging. Yo, so we just finished mall hopping. We'll show you the uh, the horde after this transition. But uh, we decided that there are a few things we're gonna do when we get back to the apartment. One, apparently we're painting my nails. I bought a new lunchbox, because I gotta get a new one. Nightmare Before Christmas, of course. I bought this little thing right here. Mug. I gotta take the bubble wrap off. Bunch of skulls. Tim picked it out. I got a bunch of shot glasses. This one's just dumpy. I got this one. This one was just pretty. Just flowers. A space shot glass. This one is Tim's bag. We got, oh yeah, got, I think we already showed this one, but got piercings from Spencer's. This one, this one's cool. Definitely doesn't fit me, but I'm just small. Got this one. Here's that one. Tokyo Ghoul. I now need to watch this so I become not a poser. Exactly. We got talking cooking. We basically make mini little meals. I also got one of those because he's gonna make his own. I'm gonna make my own. And uh, also from that, I got Japanese candy. This one's really good. We might have some of this after dinner. I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, are you a hu are you reptilian? Uh, uh, <laughs> the jig is up. <laughs> okay. The jig is up. Plan for today. Do nails. This. Yeah. I'm not the best at this. I'm probably still gonna get nail polish on your skin, just so you know. So like since I'm being a That sun, will wash off easily. Yeah, literally like the day after just wash your hands with soap and water, it'll take all the nail polishes off your skin. Okay. That's what I do. So I'm actually gonna like file down your nails and stuff. Get them to a nice shape. I'm gonna go yeah, underneath right. your nails a lot, just so you know. As long as you do not cut my fingers up with the file, I don't care. It's very flat. I'm not gonna cut you with that. Here comes the painful part, just pushing back the cuticles, and I have to I, peel it off. This has always been my least favorite part when my mom used to do stuff like this with me. Uh, what are they watching out there? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go look. I just hear all the screaming, and it's just like, ah! I saw a baby crib light on fire, so. Hmm? A baby what? A baby crib light on fire. I don't know where. So, some kind of horror movie. Nice. So I can really pinpoint from that. All right, that hand. This hand. Doing it from this order. Okay. So, I'm gonna push all them back first. Ow. Why are so tough? Jesus Christ. <laughs> These are called callous hands. I'm not gonna push it back too far then. Now this is the part where it might hurt and some cases might bleed if I go too deep. Where I just take this and I just grab the excess. Like that. That's just extra bits 
Here's your beast's skin. Essentially. Left hand. I can tell this one's gonna be bad. Uh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow, that one was bad. I kind of fucked up that one a little bit, that's why. I accidentally actually went onto your skin, so that's my bad. <laughs> yeah, this one isn't catching, that's why. Make me scratch your skin. I'm not sure if you can even see it, but there's like a slight little circle in there that just does not look like it matches my finger. No, I see it. Yeah, that's where I cut the tip of my finger off. Oh. It was like a nice little indent, and I would not stop bleeding. Even once they gave me the solution at the doctor's office that's supposed to make it stop bleeding, it still kept bleeding, so. They just get the... <laughs> <laughs> the what is what it the? called coagulation like a little shock with the <laughs> pen just oh god that would hurt like a bitch but it would stop <laughs> bleeding went down the wrong pipe again i don't swallow right that's what she said <laughs> okay all right so how and do you how do you want to do it you have more black, black than red honestly so it'll probably be like black red Black, red, black, then. Alright. That's what I typically do. Because then it's just like more like red highlights, essentially on these two fingers. Okay, that works for me. Who do that then? I have literally never painted my nails before, so I'm just thinking, am I gonna be feeling this? You feel it going on and it feels a little cold, but once like they dry, you don't feel it. Mm -hmm. Like for a while, you'll be actually aware of the fact that you have nail polish on. But honestly, like once it dries, what I do, I just go like this all the nails and suddenly a couple minutes after doing that I'm it goes away from my mind that I have nail polish on and I'll look down like oh polish oh yeah it's there now <laughs> yeah essentially knowing how I do it the first coat is gonna be like almost perfect kind of thing then once we get to the second coat that's when it's gonna sobber all over your skin because I'm like impatient okay. I'm trying to see like is there any more on this corner a little bit right there and there it goes a little bit on your skin I don't care little dot, it's fine. You might just have like random streaks of black on your fingers for a bit, but it's fine. It's fine. And I think I just got, you know, polish in my hair, but it's fine. Can you just bang your knee, your foot, your ankle, heel, heel whatever. Naming every single thing except for what it actually is. So that hand's done, make sure it does not touch anything. What I do, I just like to go like that, just shake it a bit. Helps it dry a little bit faster. I'm literally sticking my hand in the stream of the fan. I can move it closer too, because I'm getting a little hot. I did not push back the cuticles well on this one, but it did not want to be pushed back, so. <laughs> it might look a little weird towards the cuticle areas, but it's fine. I'm just going to be looking at the fact that my nails are black. This is stinging that finger. That's <laughs> what <laughs> so happens with the cuticle sometimes. We'll let them both dry for about like a couple minutes. So. <laughs> just flops on the floor. My hand is done. Nice. So let's have it all dry. Just keep it in front of the fan for like five minutes. Yeah. I'll see how yeah. they're drying. I'll double check the black and see if we need to do a top coat. And if we do a top coat, I'll wait for the extra five minutes to make sure it fully dries. Can the red get darker? I mean, we can try. I'm making it slightly darker, not by much, but a decent amount. Are you able to crack your toes? I got <laughs> one. I do that all the time. But like my toes haven't been cracking a lot lately, and I don't know why. It's annoying. There's I've a couple. Got a couple. So I can do the regular ones, and on my big toe, I can crack this one. Hmm. I mean, I try it with my fingers, but they're a little bit occupied with getting dry right now. Yeah. All right. Nails are done then. Show them to the camera. Yes. It actually looks nice, so. I'm not even gonna lie, I like this. I'm gonna be, I might end up actually figuring out how to do this myself now. You're welcome. Now you can do like the whole e-boy thing with the painted nail stuff. I actually like this. My brother's gonna be looking at me like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> and I'm just gonna look at him like, trying different things and enjoying it. Shut up, bitch. Exactly. There you go. There's nails. Nails. All done.